Good evening and a very warm welcome to your news package with Television Tonga for tonight. Making headlines, their majesties hosted a royal function to welcome and mark the beginning of the new year, 2014. Free Wesleyan church members of Colofal collected almost half a million pounds during their annual church contributions 2013 and the official opening of the new hall and Makileta Vakalahi of Pahu recorded the new year baby for 2014. These are more stories later on in this bulletin. Their Majesties King Dibal VI and Queen Anaspa'u yesterday hosted a short royal function to welcome and mark the beginning of the new year in 2014. Such event is held every first day of the year where their Majesties are able to welcome the new year together with guests at the Royal Palace. Other members of the Royal Family, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince the Boto Al Kalala and Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Sinaita Kala, her Royal Highness, the Princess Lato Fipeka and Honourable Anaseni Tepove Halafistua joined their majesties in welcoming guests at yesterday's royal programme. It involved guests from government led by the Honourable Prime Minister, Lord Tivano, nobles of the realm, church leaders, diplomatic corps, relatives and friends. The Free Wesley and church members of Glofo collected almost half a million paanga during their annual church contributions 2013 and the official opening of the new hall. <laughs> Glofo Church's Secretary and Treasurer Milayatu Poloto says the church members have collected more than 364,000 paanga in their annual offerings. In the meantime, they also collected more than 88,000 paanga during the opening of the new hall on the same day. The hall was officially opened by His Majesty King Debo VI on December 26, 2013 and named it Klofiama or Abworth. The church members were given a contribution share of more than 78,000 paanga for last year's offerings but have exceeded that amount with a total of more than 286,000 paanga. Meanwhile, Reverend David Alataila Kepa of the church says the new hall was fully finished with assistance of the Kolofo people residing overseas. He says the VAP room was fully furnished and funded by the Kolofo people residing in the United States of America. The chairs and tables, together with the sound system, was a donation from the Kolofo resident in New Zealand and the kitchen was fully furnished with a donation of Kolofo people residing in Australia. The new hall is 144 feet long and 80 metres wide. Kalofiama Upworth Hall is located at the Halatu'i Road opposite Naloto Mongawe Tongan Gava Club. The new year 2014 brings to light the importance of God's presence in our midst. This was the highlight of many locals' New Year's resolution for 2014. Television Tonganese took out to the streets in downtown Nukalofa where many people says that they are thankful of God's unconditional love that has been brought upon them, making them celebrate the joyous spirit of the New Year with their families. Speaking to radio and television Tonga News, majority believe that if God takes the lead in every walks of life in 2014, all things Will be possible. I thank God for his love and care that guides me through the year. I would like to let everyone know that God loves them no matter what. Let him guide you in every work you'll do this year and from wherever you are, at home, work, you have to let him take the lead. Praise God for his endless love. He has saved us from all different hardships and challenges. We should be thankful that we started this year knowing that God has always been there for all of us. God's love has always been bestowed upon his people, yet we still make mistakes. Let us start this new year with a better life to live. I have new plans this year and that will be possible with God's help. I am happy to reach 2014 at the age of 63 and it brings me joy just to be with my wonderful family. A family in Pahutantap were proud as the newest addition to their family is the first born of 2014. The Deputy Superintendent of Viola, Dr. Sayabu Kala, told radio and television Tonga News there has not been any newborn in the outer islands as of this morning. Sinlatu tells you more. 
The first newborn baby of 2014 is Makeleta Young Afiaki Vakalahi. Her parents, Malakai and Aulola Vakalahi of Pahu, were happy and proud of their 2.4 kilogram daughter. Makeleta Young Afiaki Vakalahi was born 23 minutes after 12 midnight on Wednesday, January 1, 2014. The Deputy Superintendent of Viola, Dr. Sayabukala, says to date there are five babies born since New Year. There are two girls and three boys. For Television Tonga News, I'm Sinilatu. A 76-year-old man, Freddie Forstner, was reported dead on December 30th, 2013. Mr. Forstner is a tourist who died while swimming with his partner at the Fovai Peach in Ewa. Radio and Television Tonga correspondent in the island, Setaleki Tukia, says the disease died shortly after arriving the island on Monday, December 30th. The couple were spending their holidays at a true deep resort at the and the deceased rather was walking to the reef when he was noticed floating further into the deep water. His partner then called for help from nearby fishermen. It is believed that he died from a heart problem which uh, led to his drowning. The Bardolo sisters who were assaulted together with their late mother and sister in Lautoka, Fiji are recovering well at the hospital and yet to be discharged this week. Sinlato reports. The five-year-old twin sisters Grace and Fissi and their younger sister Anna Bartolo, who is three years old, are recovering well from the injuries they suffered in a gruesome attack that killed their mother, Sissi, and their infant sister, Sarah, at their home near Visese two weeks ago. Fiji Times website reports that Grace was released from medical authorities to attend her mother's funeral last Friday and back to Lautoka Hospital. Meanwhile, the accused, the 22-year-old Priya Dashani, is still in custody, alleged for murder and three counts of attempted murder. For Television Tonga News, I'm Sini Lato. The Honourable Minister for Education and Training, Dr. Anamawi Tafelunaki, will officially open the new Loao University next week, January 6. The occasion will also mark the beginning of a new online course of proficiency. A lecturer of the Loao University Online, Dr. Cecil Aftani, says the university courses is taught online through their website www.loaouniversity.edu.to. Dr. Laftani says this is the first ever university of this kind in the region. However, after the official opening, the university will continue with their second international conference on January 7th. Dr. Laftani says one of their online courses is providing 1,000 scholarships for Tongans.